I love showing that it's got an operational tailgate and then I'll show them the, the handle and then I'll cue them with like, well, you use it this morning and boom, half the people will say toilet handle, you know, and get a big chuckle out of it. It's, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, icebreaker, you know, I love it. Conversation piece. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Who has a toilet handle? Yeah. Hi, my name is Dermy Close. I'm from Las Vegas area, Henderson. This is my 1948 Chevy half ton pickup, highly modified. I know Chip really well. He doesn't spell his name like that. No, he doesn't. I said, man, all I got to do is change the first two letters and disguise it as mine. And so it's a lot of fun. People will catch it once in a while. Most of them won't. He was supposed to sponsor me, and his manager called me up after waiting several months and said he was sorry that he couldn't sponsor, and I understood. And I still love the wheels anyway. LS Fest West was brought to my attention by a couple of my friends, so I looked into it, and having an LS in there was a natural fit, so uh, I signed up, and uh, here I am. I spent a good 20 years, weekends and evenings. Sometimes you don't even work on it, you know, you get motivated, other things that come up in life. But one of the first things I did was stretch this door six inches, and I did it for the look. When you stand back and look at these in stock configuration, they're very shallow and uh, the front end is big and bulbous and they're tall. So over the years watching all the other builders, I was uh, influenced by them. It's for the look, because when you stand back and look at it, it's, it's a really nice balanced look. I did everything, everything but squirt the paint and stitch the material in the seats. Al Unser Jr. used to be my next door neighbor and he helped me uh, get sponsors for it, which was a big, big help. Really appreciate him doing that. Bear Brakes was one of the very first sponsors. and So chopped it three and a half, uh, pike up the hood about an inch and a half, took some of that heavy girth out of the nose. Engine compartment, obviously it's got the LS3 hot cam in it. It's got a cross flow radiator, but I have a, a neck on the center to keep it looking nostalgic and correct. The bumpers are all hand fabricated by myself, it's all steel, everything's steel on the, on the vehicle. Really glad I did the Art Morrison chassis because I was going to build my own, but they they built chassis like you can't believe. It's, it was a good investment. Uh, rear end is a four nine inch with a triangulated four bar, with a C5 Corvette front suspension. And all the lines underneath the stainless steel lines, of air, brakes, and uh, fuel are all stainless steel. If I could take the body off, it was, it's a showpiece in itself. It turned out really, really nice.